What's going on, YouTube? K Ninja here, coming at you with the fourth installment of Tech Your Deck Thursdays. All right, nice to be back. It's been about a week. Um, all right, let's get this going. First card up for Tech Your Deck is Wiseman's Chalice. Now, pay attention closely what this card does. I'm pretty sure you've seen this a lot, although you really won't see it in many main decks. So I challenge you to use it. Okay, let's see what it says. If you control no monsters, select one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon it. During the end phase of this turn, give control of that special summon monster to your opponent. The monster cannot be attributed or used as a synchro material monster while this card is face up on the field. Bottom line, this card you use whenever you're in a pinch and you need to summon another monster or have a second monster, you uh, go ahead and pick the level of choice of monster your opponent has in the grave and then exceed with it. You would never normally, you know, activate this unless, you know, you know, you, you really, really had to, like, attack over. You're about to go for game. Um, Wiseman's Chalice, it's a, it's a tricky card because if they stop you, they, like, you know, they solemn your other monster and they'll, they'll get a free monster on your behalf. Um, but use it wisely. Um, probably, you know, just use it after you maybe use the, I don't know, like a Heavy Storm or something. I don't know, Trap Stun, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is that you use to get rid of, you know, back rows or to um, keep them from activating them. Wiseman's Chalice. That's an interesting card, and it can really set you up for some cool plays, especially when your opponent has, you know, wild, you know, levels in the grave, and you're able to get off maybe level 5 or level 6, exceed summon monsters, you know. So um, it's a good choice, so I dare you to try it. Card number 2 is so old. Um, it was featured, I think, first in the uh, starter deck Yugi. It's Waboku. This card is awesome. This card used to save my ass way back in the day, and I love this card to death. Um, and you don't have to be Gladiator Beast to run this card. Let's see this is what it says. You take no battle damage this turn. Monsters cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. So, um, you know, you don't want your monsters all dying in battle and stuff because they're, like, weak and you're trying to set up. Um, Wabuku just keeps them dying from battle. You know, there's a lot of removal, you know, Caius, Chaos Worcester, Blackbuster Soldier. But um, BLS won't be able to set off that second effect that lets you, you know, kill two monsters on the field with his uh, attack strength. Wabuku is a great card to back you up when you're really trying to set up. Um, it's an old, old card. And um, it's at three, you know. Nobody's paid any attention to this card, and I absolutely love this card to death. Um, so I dare you to try it out. You'll definitely surprise your opponents whenever you flip a Wabuku when, uh, you know, they're trying to go for game or you know, or something, they're trying to get over your maybe three monsters that you've got on the field, and they think that they got it wrapped up. Wabaku is an awesome card, awesome, awesome card, and I hope you guys consider it. Last, but definitely not least, this card's been on the list, but the fact that it's at three, um, I think, you know, and it's very, very underused, at least now, but back then when it first came out, this card was really, really, really sought after is a uh, DD warrior lady it's a level you know it's a level four it's a light so you can exceed with it um, heck it's a warrior you can rota for it it's awesome it you know it it'll uh, it's fodder for your chaos monsters it's sweet and on top of that when it's face up and your opponent has no other options just to try to attack into it they'll really fret in doing so because um, they don't want to have their one you know their monster removed automatically at the damage step let's see what it says when this card battles another monster after damage calculation, you can remove the opponent's monster and this card from play, even if it's phased down. It's got pretty, it's got pretty beefy defenses, 1600. Um, it activates in the damage step, so uh, you know, Valor can't touch it if it's face down. If it's face up, you know, they'll probably Valor it. But um, other than that, this card is really awesome, and it really will scare your opponent to death when they have huge monsters on the field, like their Chaos Dragons or BLS. Um, I would not think twice about attacking a BLS with this and removing it from play. Um, I absolutely love this card. And I used this card many, many times before in the past. Back when it was at 1, there was a time when this card was like 35 40 bucks. A long time ago. Dark Crisis, you see that? That's very, very old. But um, I hope you guys consider it. And um, until next time, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, make sure and follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, all that good stuff, Facebook. Um, every once in a while, I'll be putting out on Twitter that, you know, anybody wants to play Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops on PS3 and or Xbox. I got the, I got the setup right there, you know. Um, but until next time, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, hit me up, and peace.